I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And we are from Club Sapphire, and it is a beautiful evening. We're, we're very excited to have uh, to be coming here for a, a fun uh, last minute in December party. And, yes, uh, the last. No, not the last party. I was like, it's the last one of December, but it's not. Yeah, that's right. They got they got the big New Year's one coming up in just a couple of days, actually, and uh, uh, we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. So it's, but might be by the time you're watching this, it's already done. But uh, so no, come next year. Yes. That's that's get the plan. Tickets. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it sells out pretty early. So yeah, maybe, maybe not in January. You don't have to get them that that early, but it's probably a good idea as soon as possible. All right, you want to get started? I do. Okay, a lot of people have been actually asking us some uh, some questions recently, which is nice. great. Our, yeah. our the amount of people that follow uh, this channel on YouTube is phenomenal. It's it's uh, thank you. We're in the, the millions of views at this point, and it's uh, it's spectacular. So thank you very much to everyone, and share this and tell all your friends and all that kind of stuff. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not all your friends, the cool <laughs> friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's probably. <laughs> that's smart. Okay, uh, first question. Uh, this woman had sent an email to us. I am a 40-year-old woman. Will others in the lifestyle look down on me for playing with a 20-year-old? <laughs> I think they're going to high-five her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, everybody's desires, likes, fetishes, whatever, they're all different. I think everybody... Um, honors everybody's likes and dislikes and that. Um, mm -hmm. If you're into playing with someone who's 20 years younger than you, why the hell not? Right, right. So, yeah, well, go for it. Especially if it's on your bucket list, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> it's, well, it's, not, it's not my thing. Um, I've done it once and I was not impressed. <laughs> oh, it's, um, yeah. And you, I've never said that I really wanted to be with younger men because... Um, no offense, but the experiences I've had and what I've heard is they're not as experienced. Well, there's um, younger men and there's younger men. And I'm men. not yeah. into training. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you know, we actually have so. a lot of good friends who, uh, women who, uh, who uh, date a lot of younger men, uh, considerably younger men, uh, for that concept of yeah. for what you used to say, like a training a puppy. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> training a sexual puppy and uh and you know that's that's what she's into she she yeah. likes that she likes being able to say no you're doing this wrong and mm -hmm. you know training training him that yeah. way because as as you've seen with 20 year olds you've been with that they can be selfish right. uh and that they it, selfish lovers and they can and they can be just just the fact they're new Right. I mean, I, um, I, I've been with quite a few women in their twenties, and it's been a kind of a mixed bag. Uh, and uh, um, but I, it's not, I, no one in the lifestyle is going to have a problem with it. But I, I think really her question boils down to: um, Are people in the lifestyle really going to look down on anyone that you play with? No. Uh, and and that's you know the answer. I've is that, never seen anything like that. Like anybody get down on anybody for who they're playing with. No, and in, in fact, age, race whatever like it, it just doesn't matter yeah no i and, and in fact it's 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 kind of the opposite it's where you are you're you're, you're hey have you played with such and such because yeah. i i played with them and they were great uh you yeah. should do that too uh that's that's actually more common <laughs> i don't think uh it would ever be a factor where you, yeah whether it was you know like you said age or sex or bisexuality uh, i mean that's definitely something that, that that has been coming up a lot more in the last couple of years as far as uh, male bisexuality, which has kind of, in depend some parts of the country, is still is still generally frowned upon more. It's more in the closet, right. uh, but recently, definitely on the West Coast, we've seen a lot of that where people are like, "Yeah, no, it's perfectly normal. Uh, it's uh, you know, it's it's okay." I mean, I, I've I've we've been with couples where the guy was bisexual, and that does nothing for me, and so I would gladly decline. But it was I wouldn't. You know, that, not play. You yeah, I wouldn't play with that. Out of that situation. Right? Yeah, I would gladly play with his wife, though, uh, and uh, and that's that's perfectly all right. And no one would ever bat an eyelash, um, or you know, especially if someone said to you, "Oh, you were you you're with a, another woman." Mm -hmm. You know, oh, that's how shame on you. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, that's a given. So. Um, it's it's perfectly all right. I mean, no matter what type of person you're attracted to, or if honestly you have a bucket list, or you have a whole list of, I've never been with this type of person, or I've never been with this ethnicity, or I've never been with this age of person, someone 20 years older, someone 20 years younger, whatever it might be, that's that's perfectly okay. Yeah. So so definitely uh, definitely do that. Don't be afraid of it. Uh, there there's and more than anything, does it really matter what other people think that's when it comes true. down to it too? This, this this this. 
lifestyle, this uh, hobby is is for you. And the, the important thing is that you are comfortable, that your spouse, if you have a spouse or significant other, is comfortable with what you're doing and mm -hmm. you're comfortable with what they're doing. And that's really all there is to it. Yeah. So, so yeah, experiment, try everything. You never know. You never know. You never know. You, you, you <laughs> might like training 20 year old guys. I <laughs> know. <laughs> well, I mean, I... You would try again. You would try again. <laughs> it depends. No. I mean, I could be convinced. I'm not saying never. <laughs> there you go. But I, I don't think I'd have very high expectations. Well, that's good. No, if the bar is really, really the low, then, the, really then low. you have a, you have good odds if you're some you know 20 year old watching this right now going, I want to have sex with Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> if, but you got to impress me to even get me back there. I think. That's right. Like, there's got to be a reason for me to go back there because the last time was just so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Next time. Next time. All right. All right. Next question. As swingers, how common is it to engage in BDSM activities? Well, like every three seconds, I'm smacking you around. Or you, know, you do pulling that. Pulling on your nipples. You or <laughs> dripping wags on you. Don't pull on my nipples. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's interesting because the. The, the BDSM world and the lifestyle world rarely connect, I, I find. I find that there's this group over here and this group over here, and there's, there's a lot of mix. there's a lot of interchange, but it's like, tonight I'm either this or I'm this. I, I, it's very rare that you actually see, like, I mean, for, for example, at you know, clubs like Sapphire, that they have, they have the dungeon in the back. Uh, and there might be a few people playing it, but the larger percentage are having what I guess you would call vanilla sex, even though there might be eight people involved. Right, but, but you can still be a yeah. uh, swinger in the lifestyle at a party and have some BDSM play mm -hmm. at a party, whether it's you're wearing a butt plug for your person or you're doing a little smacking around or whatever. You know, there's still, like, you can still mix the two you may not have like a huge scene that right. you're going to do or the scene could be the fact that you're at the club mm -hmm. and you're wearing a butt plug and you're doing all these things for your dom so sure sure well you know and there and of course at sapphire they actually have every other sunday they have bdsm night right uh and so if that's what you would like to do if that's if that's really what you want to focus on for tonight uh definitely come to that event because that will be everyone here will be doing bdsm stuff scenes mm -hmm. scenes, scenes. You, you know the word you know the lingo more than i if you <laughs> if you if you, <laughs> if you watch the video of us learning about bdsm when they we came to a bdsm night here uh, a while back, uh, it's one of our other videos. It's it's mildly entertaining, but yeah, you can see that that was something that was brand, fairly brand new to me, and you knew a little bit about it. And you know, we we definitely learned a lot more. So if you do want to learn about it, definitely go check that video out. Um, but uh, you know, BDSM and actually, when they have the expansion that goes on here, they're going to have a much larger dungeon as well. So mm -hmm. that will be exciting. They can actually kind of have a, a group that's here every night. They, I think a lot of it is especially when it comes to new people that you don't want necessarily people coming into the front room or the play area or the, the, the main common areas and seeing people, you know, tied up to a cross, you know, with well, their, no, you know, getting, getting new smacked. People and, who've never been in the club before or mm -hmm. new to the lifestyle, you don't want to scare them off day one. <laughs> right, it, right, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it, is, it is interesting, though, that, that I, I do see that it's, it's, it's either a specific night at events or it's a specific group of people that will, you know, go to someone's house and have a big BDSM event or wherever it might be. Um, but that their overlap is, is still kind of a, kind I, of a gray area. I think, that the, I, I think that there is an overlap, though. It's just a quieter overlap. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you know, you might have a specific small scene that you're doing with your person, you know, that nobody else needs to know about. It's not going to be a big scene where you're, you know, pulling on nipples or dragging... <laughs> dripping oil or wax oil or I don't know and a small thing that you're doing just the two of you know about it right um it could even be like something that I've always thought of like I wanted to have like that vibrator thing inside of me and give you the remote control kind of thing like that's mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. it's it, that's still part of sure yeah you know that that not everybody else around here knows but you and I know that's our scene okay you know so like I said I mean you can still be at the club and have your small little scene wouldn't that be amazing if we had like a vibrator in you and they they could like control it when they're watching it on youtube or something like if we <laughs> oh, i don't know video. about that <laughs> would that be something that you would that you would want to control when you're watching this could she concentrate comment below if you think so <laughs>
uh, another woman had actually asked, uh, is it okay to be a tease at a swingers club? So she's really saying, is it okay for me to flirt? Is it okay for me to have uh, a guy you know, make out with me or a guy suck on my nipples or whatever it might be uh, in, in the crowd? But that's as far as she wants to go. She doesn't actually want to take... A guy into the back doesn't want to do any sex, anything like that. Doesn't want to do any sex. Do any sex? Do any? Do any of the sexy things? Um, you know, I think as long as you're honest with the people, you know, uh, it coming to the club is all about meeting people and having fun and having a good time. Right. Um, and as long as you're having fun and a good time, that's great. But what about the other person? You know, you got to think about them too. Are they, you know, are they having a good time? If they're fully expecting you to go to the back with them and it doesn't progress that way, is that really right to do, like, to, like, waste their time? Like, I feel like being honest is always the best policy and letting them know, you know, I really enjoy hanging out with you, but just so you know, I'm not, I'm not going to the back mm -hmm. tonight. So, I mean... I would love to continue flirting with you, but if you feel like you really need to go to the back tonight, maybe you need to move on. Sure. I don't know. I, so I went to a vanilla club like years ago. Okay. And um, I was dancing with this guy, mm -hmm. and um, he bought me a drink, and it was like the second time ever anybody has ever bought me a drink. Like I never, like, <laughs> it doesn't happen. That's right. No, so nobody ever hits like, on you. I know. What do I do? So I literally, he handed me the drink and I was like, just so you know, I'm married and um, nothing's going to happen here. So if you want to go dance with someone else or do you want to give this to someone else? I was like, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> like, I don't know. How, I mean, I'm, I'm fine dancing, but, you know, I'm not going home with you. <laughs> right. So I, I, I was a little honest. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And we continued to dance, and I got to keep my beer or whatever, margarita in a can, whatever it was. <laughs> so, but oh, so how was it? What was his response? I don't know if I've ever actually heard the story before. You've heard the story before. Oh. You just never remember. That's probably true. <laughs> um, I, I mean. So he just was he, like, he, okay. He wasn't like, sue you, bitch, or anything like that. Like, <laughs> he, we continued to dance in that, mm -hmm. and it was fine. I mean, there was it wasn't like a big long sit down heart to heart it was just like i just want to let you know like yeah this is yeah. as far as it's going and i and i think and it was fine yeah i think that's actually the the best way to do that would be to if if you are just starting out or if your rules are you know my my spouse and i we play together we don't play with anyone else we're we're here to just kind of take the baby steps in this is what we're going to do tonight there's nothing wrong with saying that very early on um because you're right you don't want to necessarily lead uh, a couple on uh, especially sometimes the the dance takes a long time yeah. uh and you don't want if they you know you don't want them to feel like they I, I, it just seems wrong to say gyp like they you know they oh i wasted an hour and those yeah. people didn't have sex with me because that that's I mean, there are very few people that actually act like that in the no. lifestyle um it's i mean we've been turned down we've seen other people get turned down by other couples after you might have been talking to them for a while and it's like Okay, no big deal. Um, it's something that we talk about a lot is, is never having your expectations to be too high that you are disappointed. Oh, you right. know, we you know we were we were like that when we first started out in the lifestyle. We we'd go to events, we'd go to clubs like Sapphire, and we'd be like on the hunt, on the prowl. Mm -hmm. We'd be like, we're gonna go find a couple, and we're gonna have sex with them tonight. And that was like our you know our, we had such focus on that that we we didn't spend too much time you know connecting with each other, and we also would be really disappointed if we didn't end up with playing with another couple and that was because that was our goal and then after we were doing it for a while we really realized that it's it, that's not the goal the goal is to have fun is to meet people is to talk to as many people as you can and then the sex and the other connections happen more naturally right. after that um so couples aren't going to be necessarily mad or disappointed if you do talk to them for a while but if you do say it up front that's going to be a, a positive we I, I do remember early on we were at a club Let's see if you even remember this, this was years ago we were we were at a club uh down in portland and we were uh, we were hitting on this other couple and the other couple is like all over us woman was super hot and she's like grinding on you and you guys are pole dancing together and all that kind of stuff and and for a while and then we're like so you guys want to go to the back and they're like oh yeah no you know we don't play with anyone like oh okay uh well then okay that's fine and it, and it kind of became like really awkward because they had we felt that they had led us on because they were acting as 
as tease like as as uh, we thought. You know, there was a there was that connection, but they just didn't play with others at that mm. point. Do you remember this? I don't remember this. Oh, one. okay, All right. okay. <laughs> it's it's funny actually because I I remember. I'm just glad I didn't sleep with the person. <laughs> no, I've been known to forget that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. I saw with that person. What really? Yeah. No, yeah. I don't remember this all. <laughs> that that actually has happened numerous times over the years. Where you have you have forgotten, which which you know is to say I, I probably have as well. I mean that's yeah. you know it's it's uh, some things are more memorable than others, and uh, and sometimes or some events that you go to, you do honestly play with a lot of people. Uh, so that that is okay, but uh, yeah. uh, it's 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 definitely <laughs> polite to see if you can remember the people that you have sex with. Come on. Okay. Right. I'll try harder. Okay. <laughs> It's my goal for 2019. <laughs> <laughs> my New Year's resolution. <laughs> remember people's names and and if someone comes up to Only you and says, "Do you remember the one time we had them. sex?" That you're like, "Yes." Yeah, yeah. And I don't actually have to do remember them. if I fucked them. Okay. I don't have to remember if I didn't fuck them. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, that is the rule that we always say in yeah, lifestyle. Yeah, three times. Is it three, three after, times. After, after you have sex with somebody three times? That's when you have to remember. Yeah. The name. See, the, so this is totally okay that I don't remember this, and and, and that we didn't even have sex that time. So. <laughs> It's totally fine. Totally fine. Totally, totally fine. fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and with that, uh, make sure that you do go to www.clubsapphire.net and check out all the events that they actually have coming up here uh, because there are some pretty big ones that are coming up and they have this expansion that's just about to happen they're just about to open the other half of this place uh it's gonna be brand new lots of new rooms and lots right. of new things and we're gonna Super have a, exciting yeah yeah we're gonna have a whole video on that uh, and, introducing it and we've got the sapphire um anniversary party coming up too. yes yes that'll be a big one get your tickets for that mm -hmm. i think are you dancing at that one i am i'm okay. performing at that oh awesome so all right come so, watch me dance yeah so check out that one too and the calendar and dates and all that are on club sapphire's website so go check that out all right anything else you want to see? No. Yeah. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.